at some point in the future I expect this to be quite a common desktop setup. Um, you can laugh, um, but the iPhone does have uh, the possibility to output HDMI, so potentially you could even hook up it at a large monitor. So obviously you've got the uh, solar powered Bluetooth keyboard, so you don't have to worry about all the batteries. There's a small Manfrotto Pixie tripod, which uh, secures the iPhone via this shoulder pod. Uh, and I do actually use this fairly regularly for uh, bashing out a long email or doing some long, longer form typing uh, on the iPhone directly. Uh, one issue I have with this is, as much as I like the Manfrotto Pixie tripod, it doesn't have a way of putting the phone easily in a vertical position and the shoulder pod just won't stretch that far. So, what to do? Well, I did some research, as you do, and it seems a lot of people are recommending this uh, Coleman uh, small tripod. So, let's take a look at this. So basically, the, the main difference here is this comes with a, a ball head, which has that, that option to go vertical, or in, in theory that will that'll allow you to go vertical, which is good. So a similar you know, everything could be used as a hand grip or indeed splay some legs out and you've got a nice secure tripod. So let's um, skip to the part where I have the shoulder pod and iPhone already on top there. The iPhone is now in the Coleman Copter tripod on the CB 2.7 ball head and the advantage of it being on the ball head is you can now work in portrait mode with the iPhone vertically which I actually prefer in a lot of circumstances. And also it still has all the advantages of the Manfrotto Pixie in terms of using it as a handheld kind of stabiliser and all the rest of it. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the Manfrotto, but generally speaking, I think it's a bit more versatile as well. And it's just as well built. Not bad.